In this brief video, we'll cover how to install your printer, set up Topaz, and make sure Topaz has the latest updates running. It's important before we begin that you make sure for smooth installation not to plug in either the dongle or the printer into the USB ports until you're prompted to do so. We'll do that as we go along. All right, so the first step, no matter which printer you're using, is to install the printer driver. This may be either on the CD that you received with the machine, or uh, a good practice is to download the latest driver from the website. Today we'll be using an Epson 4800, but whatever printer you have, the procedure is the same. You want to make sure that you download the proper driver for your particular operating system. Uh, it may be different depending on what computer you're using, but uh, here it's detected for us. I've gone ahead and downloaded the driver already, so I'm going to just double click and open it. Okay, I'll let it unzip what it wants to, should be fine. All right, at this point, it's good to have the printer powered on because as we go through this process, the driver will detect the printer and the port that it's connected to. Okay, so now it's giving us the prompt to connect the USB cable to your computer. And after a minute, it should detect it. Okay, and our installation was successful, so it's good. All right, so now let's look at installing Topaz. Again, don't put the USB key in just yet. We'll be prompted to do that in a minute. So uh, whether you're using Topaz on the CD or you've downloaded from the website, you want to click on the setup icon here. Ask us if we want to run it. Yes. Installation line. All right, so now we're prompted to insert the USB key or the dongle into the USB port. You should see a green light on the USB dongle if it's working correctly. And then we can hit OK. Click Next. Choose where you want to install the RIP. Yes. Full installation is fine. Next. Uh, these desktop uh, icon options are up to you. And finally hit install.
typically you would want to restart the computer at the end of the installation, but since I want to show all this in one procedure, I'm going to say no, and we'll go ahead with uh, running it anyway. All right, so the first time that you run Topaz, you'll see this product manager screen. Um, this is where we can add a printer, uh, remove a printer, uh, as well as install the CMS or color system packages. So I'm going to choose add a printer. Next. I'm going to select a printer from our list. In this case, we have Epson Stylus Pro 4800. And then click next. Now it's going to ask us to choose a port. Um, the ports that you see here on, on this list are probably many more than most users have. Um, but the crucial thing is that you'll see two related ports. Um, one, which is a USB Wind Driver Stylus Pro 4800. That's the Epson driver that we just installed. You can use that in a pinch if you're having any communications problems. But the best port to use is this one, which is uh, labeled port number, and then there'll be, say, hub, and another number, and it basically says TNS USB at the end of it. The specific number may be different on your particular machine, but this allows Topaz to speak directly to the printer. So we're going to select that. Uh, you can choose any printer name that you want. And yes, we're going to set that as the default printer. At this point, we won't be installing a CMS package, as that'll be covered in a later video. Once we're done, we can hit. And then we can double click Topaz to run it. And we see we've got the printer installed successfully. All right. Now let's make sure we have the latest Topaz updates, which you can download from the website. I've already gone ahead and downloaded the update, so I'll show you how that works. Yes to run. And it's very similar to the installation. So we can basically click next to all the prompts here. Finish and we're done. So if we run Topaz again here, we should have the latest updates installed and you should be ready to go.